Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited today because I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I have a new camera and I have a new mic. Usually I had a Samsung camera um, that I filmed since like the first time I started YouTube and I upgraded to a Canon. So I hope this is better quality. And then I have now not, usually I had like a clip on mic that you maybe sometimes saw and this clip on mic, um, I had to connect to a computer and then I had to sync the audio and the, um, and the video file later on because my old camera didn't have a mic in put so um, now I have that and I'm very excited about that and apparently let me let me see um, this one has a really nice zoom that's what everybody says so let me let me show you I show your product like a true beauty guru ah and zoom out I'm excited <laughs> so I'm still kind of like playing with the settings so I hope the video quality and the you know, the colors are as true as you get it to real life. I looked up some settings information and apparently this is one of the realest kind of like color wise that you will get. Now, but we're not today here to talk about my new camera, even though I could talk about it all the time. Um, but we are here to talk about lost or forgotten makeup treasures. Now, the thing is here, now this day is with everybody promoting um, on YouTube, it became like a little bit of a QVC, like kind of like home shopping um, thing. So people obviously get paid to show things into the camera. And on top of not just getting paid, um, they're making commission. And because of that, you see the same things popping up all the time. Everybody is talking about certain brands because they're making money with them. And yeah, I mean, I, I get it. And, you know, YouTube is now these days, it's a huge business. People are making millions of dollars here. So obviously, um, everybody wants a, a piece of the pie. So I get it. But sometimes there are just brands out there who have amazing products and are amazing brands in general and i think they are not talked enough about so i want to talk to them uh, talk today about them to you guys so maybe you can check them out and find your own little treasures the first thing i want to talk about is actually not a makeup item it's a skincare item but every makeup artist every makeup artist knows this brand everybody used this brand because it is Good for all skin types, good for sensitive, all the way oily skin, dry skin, it doesn't Everybody and their mother loves this cream and it makes skin and it prepares the skin just in the most beautiful way for makeup. And this is Ambre Louise, right here. I hope you can read it. Ambre Louise Le Creme Concentré. It is an amazing brand. It's um, from, from France. So, and just the way that this cream prepares the skin without leaving like a weird film and you know make a blend beautiful on top of it so if you look for a new moisturizer and you really want something good but maybe not as um it's, it's harder to get to be honest with you it's not as easy obviously as going into your local macy's or jc penny and just grab your your lancome or your chanel or whatever but this one if you are looking for a new moisturizer is an amazing one so definitely check that out now another brand that has been not talked about enough in a couple of months and maybe even years is Ilamasca. Ilamasca is a british brand they were sold in sephora they're not in sephora anymore i think they're in bloomingdale's now um but they have amazing products like the skin base foundation skin base is more of a medium coverage foundation a satin finish really really nice then this one is one of the highlighters this one is called um, a gleam highlighter in the color aurora and this one um, it doesn't leave like even if i take a lot like this is a lot of product right here but even if i take a lot and blend it out like it doesn't leave any kind of like glitter behind and it just makes the skin look very naturally radiant but if you are a professional makeup artist it's an amazing product because you don't want glitter chunks on your, your your client or your model because you want them to look radiant but more like it comes from within so that's amazing and then also they have great eyeshadow palettes now i have two right here this one is the com complement palette and then the reflection palette eh, let me just open it all right this is how they look like the little quads um great great color 
selections always in those palettes. Um, this one has a mixture of cream and powder. This one is just powder, but it almost feels like a cream and behaves like a cream. So um, definitely great palette. Now, the next thing I love and um, like to use is this one. Now, these are Sephora Z palettes, but in here we have a really good product. And what I like about them is actually that I can pop them into palettes and don't have the label on it. And I'll tell you in a second why. But this is Makeup Geek right here. Not down here, this is not, but up here, this is all Makeup Geek shadows. And then I have also Makeup Geek blushes right here. And those are great quality for the price, what you pay. I mean, like the shadows are like $6. And again, I like that they are, um, they selling them to put in those Z palettes. And I tell you why. Now, when we are talking about being a professional makeup artist and you are on set or you talk, work with a client, let's say a wedding, and um, they see brand names, they can have a certain feel about it. Um, I, for example, love some drugstore items. Now, if I would use a drugstore item and they see the label and they're like, oh, wait a minute, you're using drugstore on me? I thought you're a professional makeup artist. Reverse, we have makeup artists who use, and you know, all of, all they display is Chanel and Tom Ford and you know, whatever it is, like very expensive brands. And then customers think like, or clients think like, oh my God, like, oh my, you, you are the real deal because you use those high-end products. It doesn't matter what the price tag is. If a product works, it works. So I personally like to have my products unlabeled as much as possible, just because I feel this way I avoid somebody already jumping into conclusion before I even touch my brush on their skin for the first time. That's why I like this and that's why I like Makeup Geek too, because there can, there I can just, you know, take it out, pop it in my Z palette and people don't know what I'm using. And if they ask, I will tell them, but they don't have a set up mind already before I even start. Now, another company that does that, and I feel is not talked about right now enough because, you know, every brand has waves. Like they go, they have highs, they have lows. That's how it is. Um, and I feel this brand just comes out of a, a pretty deep low, but uh, I, I definitely can tell that um, people gravitating to them back more and more again and obviously it's a brand that I'm very familiar with because if you're new to this channel then you don't know but anybody else knows I work for this brand it's called MAC Cosmetics. <laughs> now some of my favorite items are obviously the lipsticks they have a variety of finishes a variety of colors they have a new schematic what means kind of like organization at the counter so you can shop them by finish some of my personal favorites is cream sheens amplifieds and satins um, this one is my all-time favorite lipstick of the regular lineup. And this one is called Modesty, it's a cream sheen. This is how that looks like. Let me do like a little swatch. And you see it's just that most beautiful mauvey pink suits anybody from light to medium dark skin. Deep dark, you would need a liner just because to kind of like separate it. And you know, some, some girls still rock a lighter nude lip, even if they have a deeper complexion, but for an everyday customer, they're usually not the biggest fan of that. Now, other products from my cosmetic that people are not talking enough about are obviously their shadows. Um, MAC shadows are still today, I feel the level of quality everybody else is kind of like measuring. Um, so like, oh, that's better than MAC, or mm, that's not quite as good as MAC. I feel that's always like, it, it's just me. Like, I feel that's that's the thing. Anyway, um, and they lowered their price like two years ago. So they're super affordable now. Now you can buy those pre-made palettes, what will be the cheapest option for you. This whole palette is $65 and um, that's less than five, like around $5 for a shadow. I mean like five, that's drugstore price. But you can also buy um, individual pants to put in palettes at every freestanding store. What will save you a lot of money because obviously the single shadows are high in price because they all have their own single packaging. Now, um, again, I like this because I can, you know, pop it out, pop it in a Z palette or Mac has those palettes um, too. And if I have it open and I have usually other stuff on here, there is no brand name on them. And that's what I like. Now, another 
uh, product from MAC that I just love because I've worked with it since years is their blushes. Uh, this is my uh, pink and mauve palette uh, or pink and berry palette. I have over six of those palettes in all different varieties from browns, uh, peaches, uh, pinks, all the way like to reds um, and more dramatic colors. Um, what is great is the variety of finishes and pigmentation again. Um, they have softer, um, softer blushes and then they have also like very intense blushes. Like one of them is for example, it's called uh, Full Fuchsia, I believe, uh, or Azalea. Oh. What is it called? One second, I grab it. Now I got this color I, I, at the pro store, so I, I, I don't actually know if this is creating it, but I hope so. It's called Azalea. It is the most amazing, amazing bright future. For deeper complexion, if you want your Grace Jones moments, girl, what are you waiting? Look at this. Look, one. This is a blush. And you can build this up to almost like a neon kind of color. It is amazing. So definitely check out their blushes, check out their eyeshadows. They are definitely worth checking out. Let's talk about another eyeshadow that is not talked enough about right now. And if we throw in it back, I'm talking about 2009, 10 maybe, like YouTube was in his child shoes. Like there wasn't big brands supporting beauty influencers. And you know, um, one of the OGs that I fell in love with and started watching YouTube more and more was Petrolude. If anybody still knows Petrolude, raise your hand, big fan. Hope he comes back one day. Um, and he was supporting this brand. Like at, I saw it first on his channel at least. And it's Sugar Pill. Again, I'm dropping almost stuff. <laughs> Sugar Pill has amazing quality products. They have everything in their lineup. They're made in California. They're cruelty-free and I believe they're even vegan. And um, what I like about Sugar Pill is that also support, um, you know, underground people. They're collaborating uh, on a on a regularly basis with one of or some of the drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race, and. Um, their, their shadows are just fantastic. Bright colors, you see their loft, like I've used them still regularly. And you can imagine how long I have those shadows and I haven't hit pen on them because they are just, you just need a tiny small amount and you will get a super, super intense look. Um, they have different varieties now of finishes. They have pigments that are fantastic. So Sugar Pill is definitely one of those brands where I just like, why do I not see people more using Sugar Pill now these days? Because I think they are great, great, great quality products. Now let's talk about another throwback and like one of the OGs. Um, one of the brands that I see not people enough talking about now these days is Sigma. Sigma has brushes, but Sigma has also blushes and um, eyeshadows and all of that. And one of the like first things, I mean like, who remembers? Who remembers the Paris palette? Anybody out there? Yep, I still have it, I still use it. And it was one of the first major collaborations that I at least saw that a brand did with beauty influencers. They flew them out all to Paris and they walked through the streets of Paris to get inspiration. And then they came back and created this palette. What I think is so cool, um, this is how I discovered other, like I watched Petri Lute and then he introduced me to this palette and then I fell in love with X Parkage, Leisha out there. I still watch her till today. Uh, Makeup by Tiffany D uh, is one of the people that I'm still subscribed to even though she doesn't really post that much about makeup anymore, um, but I just think it's it's interesting. It's interesting to see how those people um, grow up and develop and become, you know, grown people. And I am um, still have this palette. I'm still using it. I think it's a great palette. Sigma Beauty is definitely one of those brands that I saw everywhere and now, like, nobody talks about it anymore. Because I think from what I heard is that a couple of influencers who have certain sponsorships are not allowed to talk about other brands because they're like straight up competition. Maybe that has something to do with that, but because I don't have any contract with nobody. Um, yeah, I'm talking about Sigma. Check out Sigma, definitely a great, great brand and good quality for good price. And last but not least, let's talk about one other 
final brand and that is OCC. OCC was really big um, and they, they even had a lineup in, in Sephora and now that they're not in Sephora anymore, I feel, yeah, they just disappear now. Um, so let's talk about obviously the most um, talked about product and that's their OCC lip tarts. Those things are pure pigment for your lip pretty much. They are um, not drying down matte whatsoever. So if you are somebody who likes a kiss proof, transfer proof product, this is not for you. But if you're one of the people who don't like the dry down and the matte feel and the kind of like, um, yeah, discomfort that matte liquid lipsticks can cause, that is maybe something that you will really enjoy. And this is the this is the original, like OG packaging. And then I think they changed it to this one. And now I saw them lately looking like this. What is more convenient, that's kind of like your, your lip gloss applicator right here. And again, talking about pigmentation. I mean, like, look at this. And I'm keep going and I can keep going. like. They're so rich in pigmentation. This one was, by the way, the color Lydia, what is one of my personal favorites. And yeah, I also see lip tarts and they, they have that really like candy, minty smell to them that I so love and like it throws back memories all the time to me. Like, you know how a sentence can have, um, bring you back to a certain time in your life and whatever. And this definitely does that. So OCC lip tarts is definitely one of my treasures that I'm still love to today. And that was it. That was all the little treasures that I wanted to show you today. It's definitely some throwbacks, <laughs> some old school items, probably even some discontinued items, but hey, that's what I have and I love and I definitely think those brands and those products deserve, again, more love from the beauty community, more love from every makeup lover because they're fantastic products and they just work and they're worth the money. So definitely check them out. And if you have any product that you think, Chris, you haven't talked about this, leave it in the comment section. I definitely want to hear about your personal favorites. I want to hear about what you guys still love that you use maybe since years and years that I should check out. And then also, um, yeah, if you want, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, that will help me. And then also, most obviously, subscribe. It's for free. Thank you. I appreciate it. And if you have any info questions, all the informations are in the info box as always. So that's it. And yeah, that's the new camera. I hope the quality was okay. I hope uh, you guys like this. And until I see you guys next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy.